All right, guys. Welcome to RC Made Easy, and today I'm going to do a quick review on the T-Rex 600 Nitro Pro. Anyway, guys, the kit uh, itself is $789.99. Um, that's at my hobby shop, at least. Um, the kit includes your uh, everything to build the helicopter, and including it uh, has the fuel tank. And it also has uh, let's see here. It comes with a clutch. Uh, it comes with a fan, 40 motor. Um, I'm going to be putting an OS55 in this guy. Um, and the servos I'm using on the cyclic. Cyclic, cyclic, I want to say it. I'm using these 30 51 servos, which are very good for at least what I like. These are nice and slow servos. So you can do that smooth 3D when you want it to be. Or you can slow them down sometimes. Like They're not slow servos. Um, it also comes with your um, nice little governor right here by line. And it also comes with a BEC with lipo and igniter. It's kind of a cool feature. I'll show you guys in a minute. And also it comes with your align. I kind of don't want to handle it. It looks really good. Um, this align uh, 50 pipe. Very nice. With the mounting screws and everything for it. Very nice little thing here. Now let's go over the helicopter, which I'm currently still setting up. Uh, this helicopter right here, pretty much done right now. Uh, it's got the carbon fiber tail, uh, carbon fiber main blade. These are newer blades right now. <clears throat> uh, very, very nice uh, head here. Not a lot of play in it. Uh, I can notice at least this was on the ground. Nothing comes apart. It's a very nice little setup here. Um, torque tube driven tail with the uh, also the anti rotation bracket is on the front instead of the back. Still cyclic control, cyclic controls. Um, so let's take off the canopy and take a look under the can. And I'll show you guys this new little thing here. This is a nice canopy by the way too. Nice little red canopy here. And yellow uh, thunderbolts on it. Lightning bolts. On it. This is all fiberglass by the way. Very nice canopy. Okay, now I have, I'm currently installing the electronics. Uh, right now, I've only got the DEC and everything else installed here. Let me zoom in on this. Actually, I'll just come close here to it. Okay, this is a, a cool little feature that I want to include. Uh, this is the uh, actual igniter right here, this little thing, the ignition. This is really cool. When you turn it on, you get blinky blinks. And then when you press this, this uh, sends a charge to your... Um, yeah, your uh, your uh, motor, which is going to be right here. And uh, what that does is that acts as your glow plug. So when you press this little button, you can see it says it's good, ready to go. And then after you get done with that, turn it off, and you're good to go. Um, that's what I'm assuming that's what the igniter is. Uh, I got the tail set up perfectly straight there and perfectly straight here. Perfectly straight there. Very hard to do sometimes, but I got it. There's that. Uh, anyway, here's a BC in the front. The line BC with the igniter thing hooked onto it. Then you got your Align LiPo under there, which is kind of nice to have. There it is, Align LiPo. Got my on and off switch, and I've got my tail. Um, my tail. Uh, Servo here, very fast servo. This is one of the fastest ones, um, at least the ones that I like. Uh, it's a Fataba 9254, and uh, it's a uh, digital servo, and it comes with the 401 gyro, which is what I might be putting on here. Either that, or I'm going to be using the Curtis Youngblood Enterprises uh, um, V bar, or not V bar. I'm sorry, the uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Total G or My G, whatever it's called. Anyway, uh, here's an overview of the helicopter again. Very, very nice setup here. I know my wires are kind of messy right now, but. Uh, uh, there's an awesome looking head. And all the bearings and everything are nice and uh, good. And there's all that. 
this in here, all the bling bling, as I call it. Mixing arms are very nice. Everything seems to be very well done. Um, and the kit, and kits normally when I build them, I notice the ball links are way too tight. But these are actually really loose. It's really nice to have finally loose ball links because you want that because if you have tight, and tight ball links, then it's really hard to move them. So your servos have more strain on them. Um, take you around here to the tail. By the way, here's a nice Align 600 size blades. Carbon fiber um, paddles, carbon fiber tail with the cool Align 600 helicopters thing. Horizontal tail fin. And then your metal little thing back here. And then of course your torque tube gears. And then your giant main gear here. Now the cool thing is setting this next to my uh, TRX 250 which is uh, <clears throat> this guy's actually modded right now for uh, putting a camera on the on the uh, bottom of it uh, but uh, yeah, I've been doing some testing with that uh, I haven't done a lot of flying in a while so it's going to be interesting to see this made in there we go there's a 600 next to a 250. Very, very small helicopter, as you can see. The 600 is very large. And by the way, yes, I know that this guy is just sitting here. Still got to work on that. And get everything ready to go. But everything is Loctited. Uh, all the links are good. Uh, make sure those will stay good. Um, everything is good on the head uh, so far. Nothing really came off by itself. Um, so this thing looks like it could be done within the next few weeks. Um, I still have to do a whole lot of stuff to it, like, uh, set up the engine, get the engine in there, uh, attach everything, including getting this thing ready, um, attaching servos, I still gotta put servos on the cyclo, on the cyclic, or cyclic, however you want to say it. Anyway, here's a cool little shot, by the way. Here's a 600 head. Very cool. I think you can come down here, this little guy. Same line head. It's very cool to see a miniature version of the large. Looks exactly the same on the head. Button and everything. It's kind of cool. Anyway. Um, so guys, look for this thing to be flying here soon. But not too soon, because uh, this thing will be, will be uh, in my workshop for a little bit. As you can see, I've got stuff piling up here microplanes, uh, cars, slash, uh, Beast, Foresight, uh, another Foresight, and Sukhoi, MCX, somewhere there. Um, little 2.4 gigahertz system I want to give away, some oil, and tons of parts and pieces from the Align helicopter. Anyway, uh, anyway guys, I thought I'd give you guys a little update there on what I've been doing. I'm zooming in there. Um, I just haven't been able to uh, show you guys this thing for a while because I've been working on it. I've, I've had this thing for about two days. Um, I just haven't posted anything online about it yet. Um, by the way, guys, I will soon, hopefully, be getting a Twitter account and start posting stuff on there while I'm working on it. So if you guys want to see my videos, you'll know when to look for them and when not to look for them. So this thing I will have updates on, hopefully, every so often. Um, through this week and the next week hopefully I'll have this done uh, after I get my engine. Uh, the engine should be here uh, already ordered. It's been ordered for a while. Um, they just need to get it to me. So uh, I'm putting an OS55 in this. Uh, very nice motor for the fit for this 50 size classes. Um, anyway, so I'll see you guys later. You can't see me right now, can you? There we go. And uh, there's the 600 canopy by the way again. It looks very nice. Especially on this helicopter. It fits perfectly like a glue. There's a 600 helicopter. There's a 250. With the modded thing for cameras on the sides. And the bottom. There's a 250 head. And there's a 600 head. A line. 
Oh, can't see that. 